And I'm Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, as you can probably hear, my uh, attempt to drink bleach after the last episode unfortunately didn't result in my death. So we're back here, we're back in Need for Speed Most Wanted. And we are going to go and change into the Push Cayman we won last episode. Now, I did say I wasn't going to use it, however, look at the stats on it. They're pretty incredible. So figured I'd use this car for uh, yeah this uh like this thing ooh ooh we've got a drag race let's let's go and do drag race because if it's there we may as well do it uh, nice and easy event hopefully uh, what we got Evo a Porsche 911 turbo yeah <laughs> okay maybe not so simple but hey getting a perfect shift on this game is a lot easier than it was on um, Underground 2, apparently. This game's uh, much easier to uh, shift the gears on, apparently, which is good, of course. Alright, we're doing 180. Uh, this car... Oh, what? I was in the other lane! What the balls? This is... Uh, okay. Whatever, whatever. This is positive episode. This is going to be positive. Everything's going to work out for the best in this episode. This episode is going to be the best episode of the Let's Play. It's going to be a shorter one. We're going to get a nice Mitsubishi Evo after this, which is going to be an awesome car for us. And apparently that... I, yeah. Okay, right. I'll tell you what. That's my fault. That was my fault, that. Clearly my fault. Uh, so if you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching these videos, I'm not bad at racing games. It's just the drag racing on these older games, are, it's crap. So... Yeah, uh, it's not me, it's the game. Right, let's get that way, get that way, stay that way. And crash into a minivan because, of course, there's crossing traffic. Oh well. Um, I guess I can't complain about the fact that it isn't in a straight line because this drag race sort of is. I can complain about the fact that it's fantastically irritating. Um, but hey, whatever. Alright, let's just get over to this side, get, make sure we're way over this side, right. Speed breaker, to do just that, get into that lane, over the crest of the hill, make sure we activate the speed breaker, and there we go, across the line, excellent. Right, okay, so it wasn't as bad as I was, well, to be fair, it was pretty bad. I spent 3 minutes and 11 seconds trying to tackle a drag race, but still, don't matter, let's just keep this train a-rolling. Uh... Maximum, maximum, let's do a speed trap because we did quite a lot of toll booth races in the last episode. Not to say we're not going to do the toll booth races because they make my job much easier. But uh, I figured I'd stay away from them for just a little bit longer in this episode. And we've got another Porsche 911. I don't know why this game just keeps throwing me against Evos and 911s. It appears they're two cars it really wants me to uh, go up against. So the Cayman. Uh, this is going to be our first real turn driving it, and by the looks of it, it's quicker than my peers' AI's vehicles. Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, uh, in case you're uh, new to the LP, um, and you haven't been scared away by the first... How did he get 178? What the... Anyway, um, in case you're, like, new to the channel, and this is the first time watching this Let's Play, if it is, then hello. Um, but yeah, uh, I, as I was explaining in the last episode, this is one of those games which... Right, we're restarting that because I'm not dealing with that. Right. Yeah, uh, this is one of those games where you're nostalgic about it, but it does everything it can to try and make you regret the fact that you like it. It makes you work for its love. It's like, no, you can't just love me and breeze through the game. That's not enough. I need to absolutely fucking demolish you. And that's what this game seems to be doing at the moment. It's definitely busting me balls. Let's just say that. It's... yeah. Uh, there we go. Of course, he's going to apparently be 10 miles an hour faster than I am because apparently that's possible. Um, yeah, uh, we won this Porsche Cayman. Um, completely didn't in the episode. Didn't have to cheat, go back and... Um, yeah. But anyways, uh, I got the Cayman, and I'm using it, like I said, because the stats are very good on it. But by the looks of it, that isn't going to be enough to appease the game, because apparently stats mean nothing in this game. Um, and there's a cop car about, so we're going to get into a police chase. There we go, there's a cop car. 
So now we can start working, well after we finish the race anyway, we can start working on some of those uh, pesky other challenges we've got to do. Right, my hope for this, uh, because apparently my speed isn't great enough, uh, my hope is that I am going to just be able to beat the other racers um, across the line and then just use the tip down of their speed to uh, win. So, in penetrators, he's 31 miles an hour ahead of me. I could. There's two more speed traps to go. We're doing almost 200 miles an hour. We are doing 200 miles an hour. Let's try and get through the speed trap at good speed. It's still not enough. This. This game's a pain in the arse, and I don't know why. I don't know why, because Leaf Speed Carbon, which is the other game we're currently playing through, nice and easy, uh, you know, there's been a couple of, you know, tight squeezes. What is this guy doing? He's trying to, like, brake check me or something. Okay, so that's just cheating, but thank you. Anyways, um, yeah, that game is, uh, you know, we've had a few tight... Apparently I'm now the slowest, really... Who got a thousand and eight about what? It's not even possible. Anyways, uh, yeah. So this game apparently does everything it can to make you hate it. Uh, carbon, nice and easy, you know. This game, no, no, no. Being easy would, uh, well, it can't be easy. That would be too, you know, nice of it. It has to be an absolute asshole to work with. Okay, let's just restart that, because it's apparent that I wasn't going to win it anyway, so... May as well restart. This is the episode of just restarting races, in case you're wondering. I'm not... Right, let's just knock that over and see if that can actually stop any of them, which it won't. Yeah, um, this game's a dick, essentially. It's, you know, it just is an absolute toss pot, so... Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I bought this game and I was like, oh, this is going to be an LP, I'm going to really enjoy it because I really like Need Speed Most Wanted. I do. I, I love this game, it's great. But, uh, apparently not. Apparently this is just going to be one of those Let's Plays I absolutely despise and just try to get over as fast as possible, i.e. Forza Motorsport 4. Uh, apparently that's the way this is going to work, so... Yeah, I'm already regretting uh, finishing on the ground too. Could I not, like, stay playing that game for a little while longer? Uh, okay, we're winning now. You know, as we should have been from the start, because, of course, it would be physics-defying to do any better than... Because, let's be honest, like, this is about the fastest car we can get at this moment in time, right? We've only got 84 grand. You know, as much as I could go ahead and I believe I could buy a car, I mean, the best car I can buy is Subaru and Pretzel currently, you know, it would be, it wouldn't be as fast as this is because this has got quite a few upgrades on it and it's faster than anything else I've got in the garage at the moment, yet it's just the worst thing in the world apparently, um, so I don't know. Anyway, someone's overtaken. Uh, quite a few people have overtaken us. Right, let's try and keep the speed up down here. I'm going to try and minimise... There we go. 201 through there. That's good. I mean, 200 miles an hour in a Porsche Cayman is pretty damn fast. Uh, apparently, the AI are very far behind. That's good. If we can keep them far behind, um, even if they do end up beating us on speed, as soon as they cross the line, their speed starts ticking down. So... Um, if we can sort of keep ahead of them, then we'll be basically fine and dandy. So, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Apparently someone's done exactly the same speed as me. Apparently they've overtaken me because apparently that's the way this game works. Um, <laughs> you know, if someone does exactly the same speed as you, they're still better than you. But hey, uh, the thing I'm looking forward to is the Blacklist race itself shouldn't actually be too difficult. Uh, from what I gather from the internet, I'm going to activate Speed Breaker. Um, just so I can avoid getting Game Moments camera. To be honest with you, I might just turn uh, Game Moments camera off. Because it's a little bit um, fidgety when it comes to both having police after you and, you know, taking jumps and so on and so forth. Uh, I think we are going to win this. Provide that doesn't happen. I don't rebound off a wall. Right. Come on. Speed, speed, speed. I need speed. I need speed. Please win. Did I win? Yes. Excellent. 
Right. Um, okay. Now what we've got to do. 30,000 bounty, evade a pursuit in, in the... Go away. Show me what that is. Evade a pursuit in under three minutes. I might actually do that on this one. Because I could actually just... I can take that guy off the road relatively easily. So... Yeah, I might do that. And just go for the, uh, the get out of pursuit in under a uh, few minutes thing. And then there's that silly Porsche. Yeah, we're going to do the uh, pursuit challenge, hopefully. Provided that's not a cop car. What? what? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. As you can see in my rear view mirror, apparently they have uh, the engines out of Veyrons because that's the way the police seem to work in these games. <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, let's just get rid of him. I'll just use my uh, usual tactic, my favourite. Uh, one of my favourite tactics, anyway, for losing police officers, which is to go through here. Then come out the other end, and hopefully there's no coppers that also pulled into here. Apparently we've got five infractions, which is quite incredible, actually, for um, the shortness of that pursuit. There we go. Okay, alright, uh, let's jump back to the safe house. Now the reason I did that is because we get bounty from doing the, these um, milestone events and that was worth like 46,000 bounty so it's worth doing that. So we've got trade paint, trade paint, yeah, there we go, I can speak again. Right, we'll continue trucking in this car. I was tempted to swap to like the Eclipse or something because that uh, has quite the heat level on it. So, it would technically be the better vehicle to use, but I also want to complete some races, so yeah, I'm going to stay in the Cayman. Probably going to switch this out. Uh, we do get the Evo after the uh, the next event, or the Blacklist event. Uh, apparently, it's not too difficult to deal with because his Evo isn't actually as good as the Cayman, I don't think. But, we're probably just going to switch over to using the uh, Evo, and I'll probably end up using that for the foreseeable, well not the foreseeable future, but uh, for certainly quite a bit of it, or quite a bit of the rest of this game, probably end up using the Evo and just uh, upgrading that, maxing it out, because yeah, it should be a pretty good car once it's, uh, all most of the performance bits are done to it, so uh, we'll use that probably until we get to Blacklist 6, to be honest with you, uh, which is quite a ways off, because we've got well, after we got the Evo, we got 7 and 8 to get through. Uh, but one of those drives a Mustang, and one of them drives a CLK 500. Not particularly impressive cars, to be honest with you. So, you know, it's got to be basically cakewalk with those two, hopefully. So the next two Blacklist races should be alright. This one I'm not sure about, but the next two, you know, Mustang, CLK 500, I'm not too worried about. And then after that we've um, got Ming, and he has a Lamborghini Gallardo, so uh, once we've got the Lambo, it'll probably be advantageous to just switch over to using the, uh, the Lambo, because it has, you know, vastly, it's basically an exotic supercar, so it has, you know, loads of speed and acceleration and all the rest of it, so... We'll switch over to that. Blacklist 5, I believe, is Webster. Uh, basically, after Blacklist 6, I'm probably just going to end up using each of their cars in their own separate episodes because, um, you know, as much as Ming's Lamborghini is great and all, you know, uh, Webster, who is one of the other Blacklist racers, he's actually the one straight after Ming. He has one of the nicest looking Corvettes I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah, I'll probably end up using that Corvette for quite a bit. One after that's got a Viper, then it's the DB9. We probably won't use the DB9, I might stay with like the Viper or the Corvette or something, just because of the straight line speed. Um, so then there's the DB9 and SLR McLaren, and then finally we've got Racer, Race, Racer, Razor, and the, uh, the BMW M3 GTR, the white, the silver, and blue thing. And then it'll be the end of the game, and I'm very much looking forward to it already. <laughs> you know, we're not even halfway through this, so let's play an auto, it's like and I'm already like, god damn it, just get it over with. Um, I don't want to feel like that about my Let's Plays, but this game's given me way too much hassle so far, so yeah, that's the reason I feel like I do. 
and like I would just want to get this damn thing already over and done with so yeah um, for those of you who watch uh, Test Drive 426 uh, he very much had a similar sort of experience to what I'm having uh, with this game where he basically I think he did it on stream I think he like basically did like two hour long episodes of this game just to get it done so he never had to think about it again so yeah I, I just love the contrast, you know, this is irritating, carbon is nice and relaxing. Um, so yeah, it's uh, certainly, um, you know, yin and yang, I guess, you know. Anyways, there we go, across the line, hooray. More money, more money, more problems. At least we've got money to spend on the Evo when we get it. So now what we've got to do, get through six roadblocks. Uh, cause that much bounty. I think it's the same amount of bounty as last time. And we've got to scrape 12 cop cars, so come on, police officers. There we go, tap one. Uh, what the hell's... Yeah, don't don't look in the rear view mirror, by the way, uh, if uh, stuff like texture popping irritates you, because uh, you'll find lots of texture popping. There we go, smash into him. Apparently, absolutely destroyed him. Right, where's the undercover cop cars? Or oh, are they not showing up yet? Alright, so apparently we didn't tap like the guy who was... Oh, there's the undercover cop car. Uh, I don't know why the uh, other cop cars just like turn around and just go like, Oh, I'm scared now. There's uh, apparently one that's chasing after someone else, I assume. I don't really know. Uh, anyways, that suit breaker did bugger all. Which, to be fair, that's like all the other pursuit breakers I seem to get. Although it says there's one car in this pursuit, even though there's two. Uh, and apparently, I don't know what they're doing. They're like backing off or something. Anyways, um. And yeah, now he's skidded out. Um. Once again, as soon as I want the police to chase me, they uh, idiot, they gain their dirt mode. As soon as I don't want them to chase me, they get their Bayram engine cars out. Alright, let's just smack into you. Ah, uh, did I smack into him? I don't even know. I took him out. Either way you look at it. Hey, look, there's another cop car there. Let's smash into him. There we go. Break all the rear end of his car, and apparently the front end because of physics. Um, I do kind of like the way they're like the, the the way the police vehicles smash up. It's actually quite good. You can like get some really badly deformed uh, police cars, but at the same time, it's you know they only damage in certain points. I think they have like three damage models. So yeah, they're um, <laughs> once they get damaged, they like really get damaged, and it looks kind of impressive, but then you remember that essentially each time you smash into a cop car, they always look the same, so... I don't know how he lost visual there. Anyways, uh, we sort of have to wait now until backup uh, arrive along, until we can do the rest of these challenges. Apparently, to, <laughs> apparently this is NFS 2015, that's the way these cops are working now. Got to wait another 46 seconds. Don't go through the petrol station and blow yourself up. Don't evade either, because otherwise the backup timer resets and then I'll have to go and get another pursuit at some point. I sort of just want to get like the bounty and pursuit stuff done sort of at the start of the episodes. Uh, I think that's the best way of working. To be honest with you though, I, I always jinx myself when I say this. We're only like 20 minutes in and it looks like uh, for the most part the pursuit stuff's gonna be done shortly as soon as these guys start getting their act together and get some backup in so yeah we can actually just move on to doing three races and then we can face off against him although to be fair um, when I say that uh, what was I going to say when I say that I don't know what sort of I, I assume this guy's going to be a circuit racer just because the last guy, we actually did drag races, believe it or not, in the uh, last episode when it came to the blacklist races, which I was quite impressed by. I, I'm fairly certain this guy's a circuit racer, like he does, he likes his circuits, so yeah. All I want to do is tap into him so I can get the bounty thing up. There's a truck, there's a truck, why is there a truck, why is my car not going, I don't know. Anyways, uh, apparently there's three cops here. 
Let's smash into this one. There we go. Oh god, they're going for... I know what you're going for. You're going for the blocks. There we go, 11 cars. We just need to find one more. Uh, do I go for a hell of a lot of bounty but risk losing the pursuit at the final minute? I think I go for a lot of bounty. Here we go. Uh, okay. And that, folks, is why you don't use the game moments camera. I'm going to turn that off just right now, actually. <laughs> that's probably a good idea, right? That's off. Excellent. Right. The reason I'm turning that off is because, uh, as I've explained before, uh, you need the cops in this game, you need them to chase you. And in Carbon, I was doing one of the challenge series, and I had the game moments camera on. And what kept happening is I basically... Luckily, it was the challenge series, not the actual career. Thank God, otherwise I would have, like just probably like rage quit life. But uh, there was a roadblock there. I should have gone through that. Anyways, uh, I was doing one of the challenge series, and each time the game moments camera would come up when I went for a Pacific suit breaker, it would lead me right into the trap of some spike strips. So that's why I try. I don't use the game camera anymore. There we go. So that's the bounty challenge is done, we should be able to do the roadblock one, but by the looks of it, they're not going to put up too many roadblocks, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, two rhinos apparently, Let's should we smash up some rhinos? They're worth a lot of bounty, there we go, 10,000. Oh, they're worth 5,000. We could actually get a decent amount of bounty here. Uh, we might not even have to smash through. Uh, if he had stayed on his roof for a little bit longer, I would have been able to just kill him. But, oh, rhinos again. More rhinos. More rhinos. That's... Why don't they try and break check me? I was so going to try and take out another rhino, but hey. Um, I would usually be trying to evade the pursuit by now, but I'm actually having too much fun with these guys. Um, right, let's see if we can slow him down. Nope. I would kind of like some uh, roadblocks just to show up so we can uh, cheese them. The good news is we can't go over heat level 3, which is good without means spike strips aren't showing up. As soon as spike strips start showing up, for me, the pursuits get like less fun. Like, they really start to irritate me when we start getting spike strips out because it's like, ah, uh, you know. Uh, they can just completely destroy your car in one go, and this isn't. This is before the world of like. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so very much for being an absolute moron and destroying your own police unit. This might be a good time to actually just rack up some bounty, to be perfectly honest with you. This guy requires 780,000, which is rather a lot, to be perfectly honest with you, so. Uh, okay. We're gonna to have to evade the pursuit because I'm not waiting for the backup timer. Let's just sneak into here. We could actually be able to sneak around to our safe house. That would be quite nice if I can do that. Get out of my way in your station wagon. Excellent. Right. There we go. Let's see how much bounty we've got now. Uh, we've. Yeah, we need more. 790,000 and we need 16, 16, 16, so that's what, 32, 48, we're going to be short a little aren't we, potentially, as long as we get into some like other petty pursuit, as I like to call them along the way, we'll be alright. Hey, you're really making a mark out there, I got some info on that police chopper, if they're on you, just dug out under some cover. They may be fast, but they can't see through objects. Just make sure they don't see you driving into the spot, or they'll call in ground units. Later. Useful advice, but uh, unfortunately the police chopper doesn't show- well, fortunately actually. Uh, the police chopper doesn't show up until heat level 4, so... Yeah. Kind of pointless advice there, but thanks anyway, Mia. Um, there we go. Got through that, no problem. Jump to safe house, start the next one. You know how we do. 
Right, there we go. Milestone events. We've done all. We've done. Uh, we well, we've completed our first thing for him, so we've got enough for the milestones. Um, in case you're actually wondering, um, when I screwed myself over there a bit with police rhinos, uh, that cutscene just reminded me. Um, the reason, what I was trying to do, uh, my tactic for the rhinos is to actually, if you use speed breaker and hit them on the side, you can actually like roll them over. Gee, oh right, you need to 136 through there. Why did it start me there? Surely it would make more sense to start me down here, but okay. Anyways, uh, what I was doing with the rhinos is if you hit them on the side, you can usually kill them. So what I try to do is use speed breaker to sort of swerve out the way, and I thought I could get like a cheeky side hit. Luckily, f oh, they already want to sue me again. Anyways, um, I was sort of trying to try my luck with that one and um, see if I could actually like take them out, but apparently I couldn't. So. Yeah, anyways, uh, we're not going to have enough. 139 miles an hour down to this next one. Then we can actually start getting on with some more racing. I'll probably do like one of the events that has a lot of police traffic in it, if we've got another one of those to do. Because uh, then I'll be able to start like a petty pursuit, and hopefully just get through it as fast as I can, and then lamal it. Right, there we go, excellent fruit there. Fantastic. If we didn't... If that copper didn't decide to be an idiot and start breaking. Oh wait, I've got enough bounty. How much have I got? Wait, have I got exactly... I've got seven... <laughs> I've got 790,000 bounty. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Right, another toll booth run. Uh, and then, I don't know, I might do a sprint race. Um, did I do a sprint? I did do a sprint race at the start, didn't I? No, wait, no, I did. Did I do a speed trap or a sprint race? I don't remember. Anyways, I'll do a sprint race because uh, speed trap races, I've already done one. So, yeah, uh, that's the plan. Anyways, and then we'll move on to uh, the blacklist racer himself and unblacklist him. And then get his automobile, and then I can be happy. 27 minutes in, uh, we got two more events to do, I believe, so we're not doing too bad. Uh, we got the bounty and the milestones completed, which is good. Uh, only just, admittedly, so that means in the next episode I am really going to have to, like, get some big coppers on my tail. Uh, but yeah, we're not looking too bad, which is good, because, yeah, I, I, it just gets me through the game faster. So, yeah, I uh, hope this episode will not drag on for too long. I say that about every single episode. I mean, the last one, even when I cut out, all of my attempts uh, at that race, so I did like three attempts. I think my on my side it was 56 minutes. On after doing some editing, I think it was just about 50 minutes. Hopefully, uh, my prediction for this episode it'll be about 50 minutes again. I'll try and get it under, just because I don't want to make another 50 minute episode of this damn game. Um, I think because the carbon episodes are slightly shorter, um, I get sort of more stuff done in these episodes, so I will probably end up, yeah, well I already know what I'm doing as far as the upload schedule is concerned on this. Uh, so if you're seeing this when you should be seeing this, which would be the 25th, I believe, of February, um, I'm recording this on Valentine's Day for, uh, uh, for reference. Anyways, um, um, there's this will be it for this week, I believe. So there's going to be two most wanted episodes this week. Uh, as for next week, I think there's also two episodes going up next week, uh, or at least there should be, provided I actually like record them in time, which I should be able to because I think tomorrow I'm just going to have a big recording day. Might even finish carbon to be honest with you tomorrow. Um, which would be quite cool. So yeah, um, we. I don't know why I've activated Pursuit Breaker because it's not like the game mode it's cameras on anymore, which is good. Can you activate Speed Breaker in mid-air? You can. Excellent. Anyways. So yeah, um, there's going to be two episodes of Most Wanted until we finish Carbon, and then after we've finished Carbon, uh, I'm not really too sure to be honest with you. Um, you know whether I'm just gonna maybe do, because it will be on what? 
By the time I finish Carbon, we'll be on like Blacklist 4, I think, so. I might just do like the final uh, few as like daily uploads, or I might start a new Let's Play by then. I don't really know, uh, to be honest with you, what I'm doing after Carbon. Because I've sort of. After Carbon, I've played through the Holy Trinity. The, the Holy Trinity. There we go. Of uh, Need for Speed games. Yeah, I've played through Underground 2, Most Wanted, and. Uh, Underground 2. Yeah, Underground 2, Most Wanted, and Carbon. Uh, which are the only ones I can actually play through. I would like to play through um, Underground 1. Oh, we only need to do one more event. Excellent. Uh, let's go. It's going to have to be a speed trap race. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a circuit race or a lap knockout because they last forever. But yeah. Uh, I've played through sort of the Holy Trinity. Uh, there's a Lamborghini Merch Lago. Oh dear. Anyways. Yeah, I've played through the, the, sort of the ones I can actually play through. I can't play through Underground 1 because they're not backwards compatible. And until I dig out like an original Xbox or a PlayStation 2. Um, and actually, like, I, well, I've got a PS2, but I can't actually record off it uh, because uh, El Gato is HD and PS2 is uh, it's not HD. <laughs> so, yeah, as much as I'd love to play for Underground 1, uh, that's not going to happen for the foreseeable future. I would love to make it happen, but I don't think I can. So after this, I don't know. I'm sort of torn between Pro Street and Undercover. Now, admittedly, Undercover, I only played a little bit of Undercover. Uh, I didn't play it when it first came out, because um, I heard it was rubbish. <laughs> um, at least it was back on PS2, apparently, so I never bothered playing uh, Undercover when it first came out, but I, I have got it. I've played bits of it. I'm not a huge fan, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a little bit forgettable, I find. And there's also Pro Street. Now, Pro Street, I would play through, but uh, I don't know. Pro Street, it just doesn't have. I just don't really enjoy Pro Street as much as I would like to, so. Yeah, Pro Street is. Uh, Pro Street and the cover are potentials, I'm not sure. The run is also a little potential, it's actually just trying to find a copy of that game and on eBay they're actually quite expensive. The people are wanting like six pounds for it. I remember my <laughs> when I had uh, the run because I have played the run before although I had it on PlayStation 3. I don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore so I can't really do it on that. Um, and I don't actually have the game with me. So yeah. Um, yeah the run <laughs> I actually got it for free. Yeah because it was like a buy five games and you get one free so yeah, uh, that's the run. As soon as I like find it for sale again, I'll pick it up and we'll probably play through that because, again, uh, short experience, about two hours, uh, so it'll be even shorter than carbon. Early, what's up? Didn't think it would be easy, did you? <laughs> Let's see you hold it down after work goes out, be worth a lot of green. See you fight your way out of that. Number nine's ready. He's heard all the hype, and the word is he's not so sure he can take you. Jump him right away. He's the only guy stopping you from getting into Rockport. Let's get this done. Okay, right, let's go and jump to the safe house, and then we can save the game, and then we can go straight into taking Earl on. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if he is all word and no go. All show and no go, that's the word they use. Speed trap sprint race. Okay, excellent. I'll take that. Uh, I'll go silent because intro. Okay, right, let's go. Let's see if we can beat Mr. All Show and No Go. Off the line, we certainly can, but that's because the, I can get any car off the line on this game. Uh, ridiculously quick, because all you need is perfect launch and nitrous, and you've basically done it. So, yeah, uh, it's not hard. 
Right, let's try and get through the speed trap faster than he can. Uh, okay, uh, 153, really? It didn't seem like he was actually catching me. That's why I sort of was like, hmm, maybe he's not quite as good. Um, you see, he's got me on a speed trap race, which, judging by the way today has gone, this is my weakest of all of the events I can do. Cut across the... Try not to smash into too much stuff. I don't think that was fast enough. Oh, wait. It was. I'm beating him by quite a bit, actually. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I think when it comes to speed trap races, the AI is, like, quicker in general, but I sort of find sneaky ways around that. You know, like, jumping corners and stuff. I, did, I do it in carbon, uh, you'll notice, on the speed trap races. I can actually, like, jump the... Like, let's say the speed trap's just like right after a corner, I'll usually just drive straight over said corner. Like, yeah, the AI won't do that because, um, okay, I was terrible through there. Let's just restart that. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna, I got a funny feeling I'm gonna fail that, the rest of that, so yeah, we won't stick with that. There's still a shorter episode than the last few, which is good. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, in carbon, like, if there's a corner, and you're basically gonna hit the wall if you go through the speed trap, like, at the speed you want to, I'll still end up, like, hitting the wall, because I'll be like, oh, well, it's worth it in the long run. Uh, I'm sucking through there, but yeah, he kind of sucked through there as well, so, I mean, that's fair enough. Alright, if I can carry the same line I did uh, through that last one, I should be alright. I've Balls up again. Isn't good. Right, I need to try and get behind and get some slipstream going. I need the speed. Uh, unfortunately, the Cayman doesn't have the acceleration. It doesn't feel like it has. Really? Really? I hate it when they just like sit there and block you. It's just like, get out of the way. Okay. Right, so logically, now that he's done that, he shouldn't be as fast through here as I am. And he's only, okay, he's only two miles an hour ahead, right. I am not going to try and cock up on this one. I can't remember what went wrong. I think I hit a traffic car or something. Right. Actually, I know what I did. Right, I went off-road. Right, do not go off-road. Do not let that jump to you. Go through there. There we go. Excellent. Right, that was a lot quicker than him. Right, uh, over there, let's use some shortcuts. May as well. A bit cheaty, but hey, apparently he's taking them as well. Didn't take that one, probably for the best. I'm going to go down here, actually. I'm going to be a really sneaky little bugger. Oh, he's coming down here as well. He's got more speed than me. He's going to go faster through that one. Yes, he is. Apparently by a ridiculous amount, and I'm going to lose. Right, restart. Okay, uh, I'm not going to cut any of this out, but I might start doing it if this next one loses. I'm not sure. I might actually just cut it out. Um, anyways, if I've cut it out, cut it out. I mean, I haven't cut it out. No, I, I haven't cut it out. This first attempt, first attempt. I'm going to do well on uh, this first attempt. Pink, pink, much, much. Anyways, uh, right. See, that's much faster than he was last time, but apparently he was much quicker through there last time than last time. I don't understand the way this AI works, it's like it's got catch-up ability, but it's like, it's got the worst sort of catch-up ability where it's just always quicker. <laughs> like, catch-up on, like, I understand catch-up in, like, um, I shouldn't have hit that post, but I'm still fast through there, so it's fine. It's, the catch-up shouldn't work in speed trap races. I don't mind it in sprint races or circuit races. Drag races, again, no. But for the speed trap races, there just shouldn't be any catch-up whatsoever. That being said, I'm now 40 miles an hour quicker through that one bit than he was, so... Hopefully, I don't cock up this speed trap again. Let's hope. Really? Just... Thank you, Earl. <laughs> At least I managed to do that, I was going to say. That was just the worst. I hate it when they, like, position the traffic just perfectly over the hills. It's like in that drag race where it's like you've got about 10 milliseconds to stick your speed breaker on and react to uh, what's going on. Otherwise, you are SOL. There we go, through there. 
Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I could have customised the Cayman, and, well, I, I sh probably should have done to make it a bit more unique, but, meh, meh, well, I don't really want to use this car, so, yeah, eh. I don't know what it is, I think it just looks a bit too, like, stereotypical cool car, if that makes any sense, you know, it's got all the flames and stuff on it, it's like, meh, don't really interest me. Alright, next up we've got Sprint Race. Hopefully this goes a lot better than that other thing did. He's smoking his tires. He's clearly angry. All right, let's go. Ooh, he got a better launch, kind of. Um, not really. <laughs> as soon as like that first bit happens, then I end up smoking him. All right, he's going to start swiping at me front bumper. Or rear bumper, should I say. Hopefully I win his car, because I don't want to go through and re-record this. This is probably the last time I record the uh, most wanted. Well, I'll actually tell a lie, I might record another episode of this, just after this one, but... Yeah, probably not, just because it's gonna irritate me. <laughs> That's all this game seems to be doing, is irritating me, which is a shame, because I really like it, but still. Okay, uh, apparently that was a pointless thing to do. And now uh, apparently he's about... A thousand seconds in front of me, which is just peachy. Uh, let's go through there. I don't know why it's doing it in feet. I would prefer it in seconds, but hey. There you go. There's catch up. You see, I'm catching up to him, and then I assume, like with uh, Baron in the last episode, God, don't even remind me of that. Um, he's just going to like blast past on the final little bit and win, because that's the way the AI seems to work in this game, it seems to really just want to screw me, that's all it does. Uh, first thing we're going to do with that Evo, in case you're wondering, is uh, put a new body kit on it, because the one on it at the moment is so ugly, it's got like a fat lip, it just does not look good. To be fair, I'm not hugely keen on the vinyl anyway, I'll probably keep it because it's better than anything I can actually do with the graphics on this game. Uh, this game, unlike Carbon, doesn't have like a paint shop, you can't adjust things about. As much as I'd love to make that look like the Scorpion's Evo, uh, I can't, so I, I won't. Uh, you can't like change around the vinyls or anything, so you're essentially stuck with what comes in the game and they all kind of suck. The Black Edition vinyls uh, were kind of cool. Uh, you could get Mia's RX-7, or RX-8, sorry. Uh, you could get the vinyls from that, but I don't know. I'm going to switch between vinyl and vinyl. I prefer saying vinyl because that's what I know, but I guess vinyl's more correct because that's how the word's spelled. Anyways, yeah, you could get the uh, thing from her RX-8, and it was kind of cool. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't do that in normal edition of the game, so yay. So all the vinyls kind of, oh, vinyls, I'm going to say vinyls. Uh, all the vinyls suck, basically. Uh, <laughs> they all kind of suck, so yeah, that's why we don't use them. Apparently after this guy, though, we get into Rockport, which is pretty cool. Uh, Rockport City. Uh, I remember Rockport City kind of fondly. It's a cool area, much cooler than the like these two areas, which are starting to bore me a bit. Camden Beach, I've never liked this area of the game. It's one of my least favourite areas in the Need for Speed game. Uh, and Rosewood, it's okay, but nah. Rockport City is much more interesting. Although, to be fair, I don't know, Rockport as a whole, I'm not... You know, when I compare it to, say, Parliament or uh, Bayview, I don't really like it, to be honest with you, but... Still, you know, I know the area relatively well, I remember it, so that's good. Uh, break into here. That's actually pretty good for that corner, uh, if I do say so myself. I'm just basically uh, trying to concentrate a bit more because it's like I don't want to lose it on the final little bit because I can't be arsed. Because <laughs> this is a long ass sprint race, apparently. Uh, break and turn and smash through a load of things while they are, um, um, benches, that's what they are, benches, uh, right, and then across through here, as so, Earl is apparently gaining, but hopefully not by too much, sprint, I would kind of like to cut through the gas station, but that'd be a very risky shortcut, like on that speed trap race. Uh, he's catching, he's catching, he's catching, he's catching, he's catching, and boost, and there we go, excellent. 
Right, 16 grand in the bag. Let's hope we get his car because I'm not doing that again. Eugene James, what a terrible name. Right, it should be this one. Or not. This one? Yes! Excellent. Right, anyways, uh, Rockport Borough has now been unlocked. And now we've got to go against uh, her jewels. Uh, I'm, I'll, we'll watch the video in the next video. It's Mia. Way to go, you're officially number nine on the blacklist. Take a good look around. Rockport City. I hooked up another safe house for you. It's nearby. Get familiar with the location. You might have to get there in a hurry. Later. Okay, excellent. Anyways, uh, let's just go back into our normal safe house and save the game. Nope, save the game. There we go, excellent. Right. Do, 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 do. We've got 130 grand to spend on our Evo, which is only a little bit worse. Okay. Anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Leave Speed Mess Wanted Let's Play. Hopefully I wasn't too ragey at the start for you. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Meal. Until next time, farewell.